What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Dillian, the body snatcher White. Dillian White states that when he was battling Alexander Povetkin, he had a hamstring injury, and this is what he had to say. He said that I had a bit of an injury. It hurt two days ago. It hurt a day ago, and we had to tape it up. I had a team that I never doubted, and I'm thankful for my team for giving me relief to my hamstring. And he said also he wanted to go in um, hell. Uh, well, how did he put it? Hell. I want to say hell and high water because we don't use those terminologies here. But he wanted to go balls to the wall with Alexander Povetkin, jump on him very uh aggressively in the first round because he was so annoyed with himself for losing the first fight as you can tell he was doing exactly that he was trying to take it to Povetkin when he thought Povetkin was hurt when he did stumble so I do believe that um he said that I can beat anyone I have awesome power and I can't wait to get back into the ring now let me counter punch you guys remember my breakdown um, I did question why Dillian White, why he was stumbling and bumbling all over the place and it didn't really make sense. You know, a lot of people, you guys uh, <laughs> posted on the live stream that maybe he was drinking the wilder water. You know what I mean? And, you know, Bavetkin, you know, was all over the place too. But it, this does explain at least what was going on with Dillian White because I've seen him. He doesn't have the best uh balance no he doesn't but he was never that bad off and you can't call it to weight because he came in five pounds uh lighter this fight so that's better on his weight i think honestly dillian white should be at least 240 i think that'll help his speed i think that'll help his accuracy and i think that will definitely help his balance yeah that's just me counter punching if i was going to train dillian white dillian white would indeed be smaller because I've seen him smaller and I've seen him in earlier fights and he looked and he did a lot better. He performed a lot better, you know, the way he threw his punches, his delivery. You don't need massive amounts of weight to land. However, with the weight added and you know how to turn over your punches can be devastating. So it's a pros and cons, but at the expense that it throws you off balance, you can be in trouble with someone more elusive. OK, but at least this does uh answer a question on why he was looking the way he was looking balance wise because it was like yo he was he was sloppy at times you know he was off balance and i was thinking okay like what's the deal with him is he drunk or whatnot listen if you have a leg injury when you put pressure or weight on something that's injured it's going to cause you to stumble and bumble so i do get what dillian white was talking about that explains a lot but the number one thing about this, we didn't hear anything about it till after the fight. Like Dillian White says, hey, we don't complain. Good. Because, see, if he would have said something beforehand, okay, people would have looked at that like, oh, man, here we go. Here's another excuse. So if, you know, Pavekin gets to him again, he can blame it on the injury. No, no. Hades, no. He didn't say anything like that. He said, um, and he said what he said after he got the win. That's how you do it. You don't talk about any type of possible uh, obstacle or uh, uh, concern before the fight because it only comes off as an excuse. And we all know excuses are for the losers. And he's no loser. He won. He hit Povetkin with an awesome left hook, which really, I don't even think it was actually called for it. That fight should have been, could have been stopped, not should have been, but could have been stopped earlier due to Povetkin, the way he was bouncing around. So let's talk about Povetkin for a minute. We now know the explanation for Dillian White, but it does not explain Alexander Povetkin and why he was bumbling and stumbling around from the first round. He looked like he was out of gas in the first round. So I would like to know at least some type of explanation to know why he was the way he was. You know, so I think that something was wrong with Povetkin you know, um, maybe it was just old age. I'm not sure, but he didn't look like he looked in the first fight, you know, so, but at least we do have an answer for the reason 
for Dillian White stumbling and bumbling. He had a hand, hamstring injury. Okay, and a lot of this happens when you you know you, you're uh, you're doing that leg exercises. I know Dillian White puts in that work. You know, for the legs, your legs needs to be strong. But at the end of the day, you want to be versatile and flexible. Okay, you know, and that's something that he that well, he was challenged with last night. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Dillian White suffering a hamstring before the fight. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunching. Peace.